Okay, so how do you actually get casein to debug? Oh boy, it's actually pretty easy if you have both hands. If you don't, um, you can do it with one hand and you might need like your foot or whatever to use this kill switch. But you can't shut him off with his um, power button in this mode. But you can hit sleep and he goes from there and then you turn him back on and he should be fine. Kidding. Mine doesn't. I don't know about anyone else's. If he's a first gen, second gen, whatever. I don't know if there's generations of Casey. So if he, like, literally does not respond, just turn him off, turn him back on, and this time he goes into his normal mode. Why did you go over there? Mom always says Casey, a good friend. Zing, no I'd love to be your best friend. Be your good friend. Okay, so, <laughs> to get him into debug, mine does that. I don't, he does just random, oh, I got that off, cool. He does just random lines when I shut him off a little too quick. He doesn't. He runs great otherwise. Anyway, get him into debug. Hold top left or red and uh, bottom right green. And then switch him to open. Oh, switch him off and then turn him back on. Never mind. He doesn't want to do it right now. Um, so turn him off. I think. Off. Oh, that's on. Never mind. Basically, hold those, switch them on. And you should get this little thing, and then you just hit, really, hit his home button, and you should be good. Uh, this is, I'm assuming, uh, board specs? I don't know. This is probably, I, I don't know what any of this means, except for, hey, I don't have a cartridge in. Um, Gary12GD has a cartridge, which I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> uh, they're like 20 bucks on eBay, I might go for one. Um, but, like, I don't know if it says anything else, if it says there is a cart in there, like, I don't know, 1S or something weird for, like, Science 1 and whatever, I don't know. So, basically go from there, this is all just, manual test is just that. He goes into his, um, as I would call it, his promotional stance. Where normally he's just kind of sitting there in the in the um, the flyers and advertisements for him, and to get him back, you just home all, which makes him it twitches him a bit sometimes. So waist is his spinning head is just his head and his this arm right here, which are connected. This is a separate arm, um, and if you want, you can just pop him back to normal, which is what I do. So now he's just staring at you. Uh, manual test all that. Home, audio is sound effects, music, speech, which only goes so far with the with no card in, which to me is probably just a glitch with mine. I kinda, this sounds really weird, but I want to get another one, maybe, if I find one at Goodwill that's like really gross and like cheap. Knowing my luck, I won't. <laughs> I found one that's super yellowed and he was like five bucks and I genuinely debated saving him. He had his dust cart and everything. I just, no. Sadly. Sorry, friend. So yeah. Speech, he only goes to, I think, numbers, um, the first section of numbers. He goes to, like, half of Kitchen Spies, maybe. No, not Kitchen Spies, the cookie one. And then he's, like, he just starts screaming, and then you hit stop and whatever, and then he just, like, speeds with no audio. No mouth flickering, no nothing. Sign is, um, loud warning, but just the beep. Um, and then music is music. Sleep shuts him down. CD is, um, yeah, the fun stuff, the totally not nerd stuff. I'm kidding. I don't care. And then yeah, that's basically all he does in debug. Um, he's really fun to mess with though. And then you just to get him out of it, you just either hit the home button and then switch him off, or just turn him off and back on, and he goes back to normal. He goes into his little stance. I don't know if you can get him into uh, that factory mode thing. I think it's a specific thing. What do you want to do? Um. We can visit the ABC farm. Yeah, I don't know how to get him into that because there's this Casey Kinderbot display out there, multiple actually, from what I've seen. I'm gonna shut you down. Oh, I can't shut him down because he's on. Um, he's on that. Hey, I just came out of debug mode. He does that too. But yeah, um, 
I want to see if I can get him into that one mode. Actually, if I did this, and then booted him, he boots normally. Never mind. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of normal on mine. So yeah, I'm gonna turn him down a bit. The, the problem with turning him all the way down, some of his noises are still kind of loud. That's probably just a me thing. But some of his noises are still really loud to me. But yeah, um, that's how you debug Casey. That's me messing with him. That's pretty much all he does. I want to shut you off. But I can't because I can't hit the button. Um, you know what? Playground. I don't know if that's louder to anyone else, but it kind of is. I just like his little sprites. I want to see a sprite sheet for all of his things. But yeah, um, you could probably do that if you just tapped into him and hooked him up to something or whatever. Hooked him up to a computer. But yeah. I don't know why it's ducks, but you know. Yeah, that's his debug for the most part. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do otherwise. <laughs>